view histograms and pixel values view histograms and pixel values so what about histograms histograms illustrates by the way how pixels in an image are distributed by graphing the number of pixels at each color in the nasty level and the histogram shows detail in the shadows and shown in the left part of the histogram and metals and shown in the middle and highlights and shown in the right part and the histogram can help you determine whether an image has enough detail to make a good correction by the way and the histogram also gives a quick picture of the tonal range of the image or the image key type and the low key image has detail concentrated in the shadows and a high key image has detail concentrated in the highlights and an average key image has detail concentrated in the mid-tones and an image by the way with a full tonal range has some pixels in all areas identifying the tonal range helps determine appropriate tonal corrections like this image now we have three images here now look at th this image how to read a histogram AS meaning AS meaning in the first image overexposed photo and BS meaning in the second image properly exposed photo with full tonality and C in the third image is meaning underexposed photo and the histogram panel offers many options by the way for viewing tonal and color information about an image and by default the histogram displays the tonal range of the entire image to display histogram data for a portion of the image first select that portion and also you can view an image histogram as an overlay in the canvas dialog box by selecting the histogram option under curve display options and in the canvas properties panel or by choosing curve display options from the panel menu then histogram and what about histogram panel overview histogram panel overview you have to choose windows then choose histogram or click the histogram tab to open the histogram panel and by default the histogram panel opens in compact view with no controls or statistics but you can adjust the view like this image now this is the histogram and you have a channel you have to choose R RGB and you have A and B and C and D and E and histogram panel expanded view AS meaning channel menu and BS meaning panel menu and the CS meaning uncatched refresh button and DS meaning catch data warning icon and ES meaning statistics and adjust the view of the histogram panel you have to choose a view from the histogram panel menu and what about expanded view expanded view is meaning that displays the histogram with <coughs> a static is it also displays controls for choosing the channel represented by the histogram viewing options in the, the histogram panel and refreshing the histogram to display uncatched data and choosing a specific layer in a multi-layered document so what about compact view compact view is meaning that displays a histogram with no controls or static the histogram represents the entire image and all the channels view all the channels view is meaning displays individual histograms of the channels in addition to all the options of the expanded view and the, the individual histograms don't include alpha channels by the way and the spot channels or masks like this screenshot like this image now we have red and green and the blue a histogram panel with all channels displayed in color and statistics hidden so what about view a specific channel in the histogram view a specific channel in the histogram by the way if you choose the expanded view or all channels the view of the histogram panel you can choose a setting from the channel menu by the way and the photoshop remembers the channel setting if you switch from either expanded view or all channels view back to compact view and also you can choose an individual channel to display a histogram of the channel including the colors a channel and alpha channels and the spot channels and depending on the color mode of the image you have to choose rgb or cmyk or composite to view a composite histogram of all the channels and after that if, if the image is rgb or cmyk 
you have to choose luminosity to display a histogram representing the luminance or intensity values of the composite channel and if the image is RGB or CMYK you have to choose colors to display a composite histogram of the individual color it channels in the color and this option by the way is the default view for RGB and the CMYK images only when you first choose expanded view or all channels view and in the all channels view you have to choose from the channels menu affect this only the topmost histogram in the panel and how to view channel histogram in color view channel histograms in color by the way from the histogram panel do one of the following in the all channels view then choose show channels in color from the panel menu after that in expanded view or all channels view you have to choose an individual channel from the channel menu and choose show channels in color from the panel menu and if you switch to compact view the channel continues to be shown in the color by the way and in expanded view or all channels view choose colors from the channel menu to show a composite histogram of the channels in color and if you switch to compact view the composite histogram continues to be shown in color by the way so what about view histogram statistics by default by the way the histogram panel displays statistics in the expanded view and all channels view and you have option here now option number one you have to choose show statics from the histogram panel menu and after that to view information about a specific pixel value place the pointer in the histogram and after that to view information about a range of values drag in the histogram to highlight the range and the panel displays the following statistics information below in the blue the histogram and so what about mean? mean is meaning represents the average intensity intensity value and so what about std std dev standard division represents how widely how widely in intensity values vary and so what about median median is meaning that shows the middle value in the range of intensity values so what about pixels pixels is meaning represents the total number of pixels used to calculate the histogram and what about level level is meaning that displays the intensity level of the area underneath the pointer so what about count count is meaning it shows the total number of pixels corresponding to the intensity intensity level underneath the pointer so what about percentile 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 is meaning that displays the cumulative number of pixels at or below the level underneath the pointer and this values by the way is expressed as a percentage of all the pixels in the image from 0% at the far left to 100% at the far right so what's the meaning of cache level cache level is meaning shows the current image cache used to create the histogram and when the cache level is higher than one the histogram by the way is displayed faster in this case and the histogram is driven is derived from the from a representative sampling of pixels in the image and based on the magnification the original image by the way is cache level one at each level above level one for adjacent pixels are average to arrive at a single pixel value and this so each level is half the dimensions has has quarter the number of pixels of the lower level and when photoshop by the way makes a quick approximation it can use one of the upper levels and then click the uncached refresh button to redraw the histogram using the actual image layer so what about view the histogram for a multi-layered document view the histogram for a multi-layered document we have steps number one you have to choose expanded view from the histogram panel menu number two you have to choose a setting from the source menu and the source menu is not available by the way for single layered documents after that we have two options you have to entire image displays a histogram of the entire image including all layers and also you have to select a layer displays a histogram of the layer that's selected in the layers panel also 
And what about adjustment composite? Adjustment composite is the meaning displays a histogram of an, of an adjustment layer selected in the layers panel, including all the layers below the adjustment layer. So what about preview histogram adjustments? Preview histogram adjustment is meaning you can preview the effect on the histogram of any color and tonal adjustment is by the way. And you have to select the preview option in the dialog boxes of any color or tonal adjustment command. And when preview is selected successfully, the histogram panel shows how the adjustment affects the histogram actually. And not and be careful. When making adjustments using the adjustment panel, it changes are automatically reflected in the histogram panel by the way. And I like this screenshot. Look at this image now. Preview of histogram adjustment in the histogram panel. And A is meaning original histogram. And B is meaning adjust adjusted histogram. And C is meaning shadows. And D is meaning midtones. And E is meaning highlights. How to refresh the histogram display? Refresh the histogram display. By the way, when a histogram is read from a cache instead of the current state of the document, the cache data warning icon appears in the histogram panel, by the way, and the histograms based on the image cache are displayed faster and are based on representative sampling of pixels in the image, and you can set the maximum cache level from 2 to 8 in the performance brief preference. And do not and be careful. By the way, a higher cache level setting will increase the redraw speed for large multi layers files and but require additional usage of system RAM if a RAM is limited or you work mainly with smaller images. Use lower cache level setting and to refresh the histogram so that it displays all of the pixels of the original image in its current state. Do one of the following again. You should double click anywhere in the histogram and also click the Cached Data Warning icon. And then click the Uncached Refresh button. And after that, choose Uncached Refresh from the histogram panel menu. And how to view color values? View color values in, a, in an image. View color values in the image. How to view color values in the image? You can also use the info panel to see the color value of pixels as you make color corrections. And when you work with the properties panel, the info panel by the way displays two sets of color values for the pixels under the pointer. And the value is the left column is the original color value. And the value in the right column is the color value after the adjustment is made. Like this image. Look at this image now. Using levels and info panel to naturalize Naturalize the tone of an image and you can view the color of the uh, single location using the eyedropper tool and you can also use up to four color symbols by the way to display color information for one or more locations in the image. This symbol by the way are saved in the image so you can refer to them repeatedly as you work and even if you close and reopen the image. Look, look at again this image actually. Color symbols and info panel. We have options. Number one, you should choose Windows. Then choose info to open the info panel. After that, you should select. Then shift click the eyedropper tool or color symbol tool. And if necessary, choose a symbol size in the options bar. And point symbol reads the values of a single pixel, by the way. And other options read the average of a pixel area. Step number three. If you selected the color simpler tool, by the way, place up to four color simplers on the image and then click where you want to place a simpler.